Hello beautiful people, how you doing, how you doing, hi guys, hey guys, welcome to another video, how are you guys doing, if you're new, hey, do not forget to smash that subscribe button, and if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back, I really, really appreciate it, okay, so I'm super excited, Ooh, yesterday was my birthday, okay, birthday girl, birthday girl, <laughs> Yesterday, 2nd of September, was my birthday, so I want to film my August TBR. <sighs> I want to tell you guys about the books I read in August. Did I say August TBR? I meant August wrap-up. Oh. Okay, so. You will not believe it, but you guys, I read 10 books. 10 books in August. <laughs> One, two, three, eight, nine, ten, and I'm gonna tell you all about it. <laughs> I'm excited. It's been long. I read ten or eleven books. Normally, I read like seven. I read like eight. But this time, I read ten. Ten. Okay. Okay. Let's just get straight into the 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 wrap up video. <laughs> uh, I need to do like this transition kind of thing. Hey guys! Okay, so the first book I'm going to talk about is Confess by Colin Uva. This one. You guys, oh my god. I have to talk about the fact that this story was very different. Well, all Colin Uva books are very different from one another. I don't know how she does it, but I really like this. It talks about a girl named Auburn. So the beginning started with this girl and her boyfriend named Adam. But Adam was dying for a reason that was not actually mentioned in this book. Like, I, it pissed me off that they did not tell us why he was dying. But he was dying at a very young age. I think he was 16 and Auburn was 15. So both of them were very young and their both parents were like, their love is not that serious and stuff like that, stuff like that. So they tried to push her away from him. But they really loved each other. So they had... Mm -mm, and that led to... <laughs> That led to her having some issues later on in the book, you, like you'll find out in the book. So after he died, she moved to another city and so many things were just happening. She came across a new guy named Owen and Owen is an artist. Oh my God, you guys. I don't know where Kolinova got these pictures from, but they are so, uh, would I say disturbing? <laughs> they are quite diff like, different. So this guy is an artist and he makes pictures based on people's confessions. Some people will write their confessions in the paper. I, that's another thing I actually liked about the book. I was reading people's confessions and I'm like, wow, people do a lot of things in this life. So he would pick the confession and that would inspire the painting. For example, this particular painting, this one, yeah, it says, sometimes I wonder if being dead would be easier than being his mother. So that was the inspiration for this particular one. And then there's another painting. Okay, so I'll love you forever, even when I can't. And uh, this is the painting. Can you see how beautiful? That I actually love these two paintings, to be honest. This one looks like two lovers trying to touch, but they cannot. And this is a painting of Auburn that Owen made. So then there's another guy in this book that is very, very weird. His name is Trey. It turns out to be Adam's senior brother. And also, Adam's mother is really crazy. Like, that woman, I understand her loss. But what she's doing to Auburn is quite unfair and quite sad. Anyway, Sha, the book goes along and tells you how, you know, things work out between Owen and Auburn. And also, there's a plot twist. Because Colinova always puts that twist that is always amazing. Like, you just be like... Ooh, now it makes sense and i could not put this down i read it i think i read it in if not a day like a day and some because i'm working you know i gave it 4.5 stars then the next one i read is <laughs> guys when i was picking this the prompts that made me pick this was the prompt saying uh, a book that will be a five star read for you and i've read taylor jenkins reads books and the two of them malibu rising and carisoto is back are five stars for me so i picked daisy jones and the six and Guys, it's a five-star book for me also. But I have to tell you that I did not like any of the characters. Even Daisy Jones herself, I hated her with passion. She was the most annoying, the most drug-influenced person. She was just so... I don't know how to explain it, but you just need to read the book. Because I feel like the way Colin Hoover... Uh, I said Colin Hoover. I feel like the way Taylor Jenkins read 
talked about the music in here their lives in here like i felt like i was reading about freddie mercury or janis joplin and if you guys know i have a reaction channel and i listen to songs different songs uh, 90s 70s and 60s songs so the, the kind of vibe i was getting from this and then at the end you see the lyrics also and I, I will go back to look at the lyrics and because I love, I am a sucker for good lyrics and the lyrics are so good. And then you see the reason or the inspiration of the songs and then you also see them performing and how they are performing. The way Taylor Jackson read described the connection, the chemistry between Daisy and Billy and their stories. Oh my God, guys, this was so good. Daisy Jones and the six. The six are in a band. It involves like some people like the pianist, the keyboardist and co and co. So their lives, like basically their lives. And I like the fact that in this book, you are, you are seeing it from everyone's point of view. Daisy is talking, then Karen, Karen is the keyboardist. And there are so many, there's so many stories in it. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Their love life, their relationship with drugs. Oh my God. Drugs and partying and drinking guy like so many names of drugs i've never heard of in my life are in this book and there's another thing called uh, what, what am i saying calling over oh my god there's there's another thing taylor jenkins read did where the author interrupted the story at one point and that one made me smile because then i was like okay anyway that's it i, I just want you to read it yes the characters are hateable i don't like any of them but i was rooting for them except eddie that i felt was a little bit weird simone simone is the only person that i see that is normal that was not really really influenced like she still had her shit together then camilla oh my god i love camilla like she she knows what she wants she went for it and tell me have you read this book i want to know because am i the only one that's just crazy about it or is it because i'm i love music or what because i don't know I don't know. Just, just read it. Read it, okay? Hi. Okay, so guys, the next book I read is Shatter Me. <laughs> okay, so this is a part of the series and I picked it up because of Diana. I'm always seeing your comments on my video and you said you started it and I was like, okay, fine, let me start it too. So thank you for letting me start this with you, okay? So guys, I read this and damn okay so it talks about a girl named Juliet. she has powers and her parents ate her they ate her so much like they even gave her away to a re-establishment it's a dystopian book so they gave her away to a re-establishment that re-establishment is like a military kind of regime where they it's it's very very bad so they want to use her to do something it's like a war yeah they want to take over the world so they want to use her powers because she anybody she if she just touches someone like this person will just feel a lot of pain and just die she's a very nice girl and then there's adam oh my god adam is a soldier and he works under warner i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right but warner yes and warner is a very very brutal and no nonsense guy and he's young I'm imagine how someone that is 19 can be so brutal like that. So she she was locked in an asylum and then they got her to get her out. So many things happened in the book. You, I fell in love with Adam's character. I fell in love with Juliet herself. But the book, the writing is a little bit weird, you know, like there are some places that she would cancel. But it's understandable when somebody is locked in an asylum. What do you expect? The person is going to be psycho a little bit. But yeah. So after that, I read Destroy Me because i have the two the two novellas are here destroy me and fracture me so i read destroy me and i gave this one five stars five stars because i was sucked into the story i just wanted to know what was happening then this one i gave uh destroy me four stars and destroy me is in the pov of warner the psycho brutal general military yoga boss <laughs> and i'm confused as sh i'm confused as anything because i hated him with passion here and he has feelings for Juliet wow you can imagine she she doesn't want to have feelings for him and stuff like that ooh, ooh, ooh. and there's something crazy that happens here so here we are now seeing his point of view and then you start to understand so many things and I'm like oh my god like I don't know whether to like him or to hate him you know but here in this book there's a guy Kenji Kenji oh my god I love love Kenji's character so much he's so funny he's just and he also has some 
craziness to him i just love him so much so guys the next book i read is love theoretically by ali azawood oh my god this is still fresh in my brain like it's still fresh in my brain because i just finished reading it of course yeah <laughs> we all know the three books ali azawood has written are all about ladies in stem their difficulties in stem and how they fall in love and the guy is always huge yes it's the same here too this talks about jack and elsie they are both physicists he's an experimental physicist Physi <laughs> he's an experimental physicist and she is a theoretical physicist and there was a whole issue that happened it affected the theoretical physicists so they ate him and they believe that there's a war between both of them the physicists that are experimental and the theoretical ones so she just wants a better life she's trying to be a better person take you know just be a better person so she does weird job one of the words one of the, one of the odd jobs she did she does is it did or does now i don't even know is she's always uh fake dating people like if you need a girlfriend for your family to leave you alone and stop asking you questions you just employ her you pay her and stuff like that so that's how she's making hands meet you know she has to switch personalities and all that but it's deeper than that uh, there's a deeper reason why she does that like she wants you to like her she you know stuff like that she's a people pleaser she doesn't say her mind she doesn't say what she wants and you get to see how she's struggling trying to get a better future and all those things and then jack comes in Oh my god, Jack. I love Jack so much because Jack was just like he, he was taking it slow. He was in love with her from the first time he laid his eyes on her. He was like, oh my god. There was even a part where he was like, I want to take care of you. I want to be responsible for you. Because in my head, no one else does. Like, like a guy will tell you that. You just know that he is particular about your future. Jack was like, I want you to want what you want. Like, come on. I don't want to. I don't want you to do what I want. I want to do what you want. Like, like oh my God. Anyway. Oh, oh, there's another part that was quite interesting. The fact that she had a health problem that she requires a lot of money for also. And it's quite different, you know, seeing someone. Normally, the ladies always are always, you know, healthy. But I like the fact that Aliza would made lc not healthy because then we are able to see from another perspective you know she really needs this and stuff like that guys just i had it up i had it up i had it i read it in like 24 hours me reading a book in 24 hours anyway i gave it 4.5 stars because i can't just like the ending was satisfying everything was just <laughs> tell me what you think have you read this book because i'm like yes the books are similar oh ooh, and there was also a mention of adam and olive oh my god from love hypothesis okay anyway that's it i'm excited actually yeah yeah so then i went to read icebreaker this was a body read with ore i'm going to put her instagram handle somewhere on the screen so you guys can check her out and support her okay so this book i had a lot about oh my god before i got into it a lot of people were like oh my god it's so cute it's so smutty well it's supposed to be about two athletes she is a figure skater he's a hockey player his rink got destroyed by some people and so he had to come share a rink right and she hates him for that because she's trying to practice for something one competition that's coming up so she's angry with him because she has to reduce her time that is what it's supposed to be about but guys when i started this book i was actually shocked because in the beginning it started with smut like straight point blank smut the book is smart and then the funniest thing is then the plot was coming in and it was okay okay i'm like okay then the next scene i totally forgot about the plot because the smart just overshadowed the whole book and then when i came back to the plot at the end it ended on a very satisfying note yes but then guys i, I could not even get over that so i gave it a 3.5 my friend and i we were just so frustrated don't get me wrong i love a smarty book okay but this one just threw me off balance i've read another book that is actually smart 80 percent smart but 20 percent plot and i love that book i gave it five stars but this one was just so annoying the characters were even her herself anastasia herself she was just so annoying she was just being a drama queen for no reason in the beginning and then the fact that you're just sleeping around <laughs> guy come on 
I don't know. <laughs> and also the fact that I got confused because then I, I thought they were in the university. It says they are in the university, then it says they are trying to get admission into another university. I'm confused. I don't understand the schooling system in the book. But aside that, I enjoyed the story. I love the part where they traveled home for Christmas. I love that part. Oh, I love Nathan. Oh my god. Guys, I love Nathan. He's so sweet. He was just he just wanted to be there all the time. He wanted to be present. You can see I tapped it to tell you, but it's just I didn't really like the fact that it deviated totally from the plot. And the book was 400 pages long. 400 plus pages long. Like this kind of book is not even supposed to be this long in any 429 pages. In fact, 250 pages, this book would have been sweet. Guys, there was even a part that five freaking pages long was just smart. They were just guy. Then I had another body read with Kenny before the coffee get cold. I read the book the before the coffee get cold with her also. I'm gonna put her on Instagram and do so you guys can check her out. Then we read this one. I love this one more than the first one. Oh my god, it's also the same kind of vibe. You go to the, the, the cafe, you sit on the chair, the same rules, everything. There was reputation, yes. I was already used to the fact that there are going to be reputations, they're going to uh, remind you of some things, even from the book one but i love this book more than the first one this one was just so different then you get to see kazu's story also and something else happened so this one talks about the best friend mother and son the lovers the married couple they all go back in time just for a particular reason and then there are some some places i really liked oh my god like the part where kazu says mom i'm going to be so, i'm going to be happy i love that part and then there was also another part here i tapped a lot of parts he said, if I had led a sad life as a result of my sister's death, then it would have been as if her death had caused it. So I thought, I mustn't allow that to happen. I swore to myself that I would make sure that I was happy. My joy would be the legacy of my sister's life. But another one, this particular one, seasons flow in a circle. Life too passes through difficult winters. But after any winter, spring will follow. You can imagine. After every winter, spring will follow. So no matter the darkness, no matter the sh hardship, spring will follow. And it ended on a cliffhanger because something happened. Some Somebody just magically appeared. And I want to know who that man is. I gave it the four stars. I really enjoyed it. Then I had to, I just had to, guys, I just had to. Unravel Me by Tahara Murphy. Guys, this book was intense. Yes, it took me a long time to get into it because this book is big. But and also because I was neg neglecting all my my responsibilities and I had to go back to them. <laughs> so guys, this book was good. It was it. I was like this. I read this part. This part I read in maybe five days. <laughs> then this part I read in one night, one day. Like guys, today I I was it was so intense. You get to see Warner's character very well. Uh, Aaron. Oh my God. Guys, I'm already falling in love with Aaron. And then Adam, I can't even tell you about it. I don't want to spoil it. So immediately I went into Fracture Me. And Fracture Me, I have to just say that Adam broke my heart. I can't believe it. Adam, why? Why would you do that? I thought you were... I, I was rooting for you. I was rooting for you, but you just came and just be like... Like, why would you make that statement? It's one thing for you to think about it. But then for you to say it, guy guy but seriously seeing aaron and juliet together the way they were talking ah <sighs> guys anyway i'm so confused at this point i just want to get into the next book already so yeah, i'm excited guys yeah. then, <laughs> i don't know why i don't know why i screamed but sorry then the next book i read was also a body read with kenny again this one is I Do Not Come To You By Chance by Adal Patricia Uma Ubani. I've read another book by this uh, author, Beneath the Baobab Tree. Yes, I read so and I really liked it. I gave that book five stars, but I gave this a 3.5. Yeah, a 3.5 stars. And I went into this book blind actually. And this book, I went into them blind. This one talks about a guy, he grew up in a home where they prioritize education, and education is the way, and also. The fact that you should not be a fraud star and anyone who is rich is called a yahoo boy or four one right so it talks about his life how he went to school his girlfriend 
then also talked about how he became a dubious person and his life after that his life basically that's the book i feel like this book is gonna be a very 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 good movie that's also the same thought with kenny because she also said the same thing that it would be a very 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 good movie because the way they described things in this book is very very nice like the way the author was so de descriptive about everything like you know you can easily picture it with the way she described it the way she described the portals and all those things but i just felt like for us reading it was too much description i got i got one point that i was just skipping and skipping and my eye was like going over it some parts because then I, I didn't know how i didn't need to know the color of the hospital i didn't need to know the beggar counting money one by one i find you could mention that there was a beggar sitting but the life of the beggar is not my own business at this point in this book you know oh my god you guys i loved a character here and it's cash daddy i love this carefree nature is giving nature even though he was actually a very crazy man and he did a lot of crazy things that are not you know <laughs> really really okay but then the man is a very very nice character i really like this character that's why i said it's a very very nice movie yes that was this then the next book i picked up was the three of us by ore agbaje williams this look at it pronounce it agbaje ah agbaje ore agbaje williams sorry i'm oh, sorry uh this one talks about three people from the picture i can deduce that this is tammy the very annoying best friend then this is the lady and her husband the funny thing about this book eh, it is set in just one day everything you are reading is just happening in just a whole freaking day the book is very short it has less than 200 pages yeah 188 pages and also you will be invested in the story and it will annoy the shit out of you sorry i said that sorry for cursing but yeah the book is very very interesting like but i just didn't like the way the author ended it, it, it the author ended it on a note that made me feel like what is i started picturing different yeah it's a good book but i just uh, okay so it talk about a lady funny thing is we don't even know the lady's name we don't know her name we don't know the husband's name we only know this lady's name tammy which is like the most annoying character in the world but yeah so our friend and her they went to the same school you know they have been best friend for years then uh the friend decided to get married which was surprising to tammy and tammy was not happy with that decision also the fact that our friend was trying to conceive to get a child which was also going against what they actually proposed <laughs> like what they decided on when they were in school together so tammy is here to kind of like make the husband see that the wife is pretending or something like that but guys the way she's doing it is pissing me off and also the fact that i feel like she should have been she should just back back out like i am married as my friend please there should be boundaries but i feel like also this this wife did not set boundaries I, guys read this book read it that's all i have to say because the book is really good but you'll be pissed off but you but it's good it's stressed stressful book <laughs> yeah that's it guys what do you think have you read any of them have you read any of these them <laughs> i can say i had a very very re good reading month i enjoyed myself a lot it was very fun reading them i can't actually wait to get into the next shatter me series which is ignite me i can't wait to get to that because i want to know and then i have already filmed my september tbr so please go check it out babe actually picked out the book so go check it out yeah, and that's all you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Deuces. Deuces, deuces. Hope that I didn't mess up with this stuff. Ah, it stopped recording. Maybe I think. Let's go a little bit. Like this. Okay. And my microphone, like this. And we act like we are not disturbed. Okay. His parents taught him in the way that it should be an intelligent person what the fuck am i saying